this is a graceful watchman I know I'm a little bit late here on covering it but we have this Orlando pull shooting I'm gonna be making videos more in depth about it trying I'm gonna try and cover every aspect of this thing but right now I just wanted to make a small point you know the uh the shooter here he worked for the largest security firm G4S and G4S has ties with Mossad, MI5, and the CIA. Basically, what the powers that be are doing nowadays is instead, and you know, the military does this too, instead of doing the dirty work themselves you know like they did back in the day you know, with, take for example Iran Contra you know they, they did things like that directly and people found out about it even you now things like Fast and Furious you know people find out about it so nowadays and what they're starting to do they're hiring these companies like G4S like like Blackwater which is now Academy you know things like this they're hiring these groups so they're not as seen as well like oh the CIA just did this oh, our military just did this no it's these other groups so now they're held responsible for it and not our government you know you don't want too much eyes on our government because if these mercenary groups security forces whatever you want to call them if they do it Oh, all they have to do is, you know, change their name, you know, and they're off the books, you know. There's no government reports, there's no government documents, they're off the books. So we don't know what they're up to. This uh, G4S, they, they pulled security at the London Olympics in 2012 for MI5. MI5 hired them to do it. And we all know the Olympics, just look into it, how much symbology, how much satanic Illuminati symbology is in the Olympics. And all the hidden symbols in it. So it's no surprise that a group like this would do it. Would, you know, be security forces for the London Olympics. You know, they run... They operate in over like 110 countries, 120 countries around the world. They are security forces for almost every major bank. And they transport cash. Much much like the, the Knights Templars back in the day did, right? Think about it for a second. And that's all I wanted to cover right now. I'm probably going to make more videos covering other aspects of the shooting. But it's kind of weird that the shooter, he was on an FBI watch list and he was part of this security force that does missions and undercover uh, tactics. So undercover missions for the CIA, FBI, the Mossad, the CIA, uh, MI5, all these intelligence groups. You know, a little bit, a little bit strange that he would be a part of it. And you know, in other videos, I'm gonna be covering how witnesses are saying, you know, that there are multiple shooters and all that. A uh, witness said that people were locking the doors and holding them in so they couldn't escape. You know, things like this. Try and get every aspect of this and cover it all. So, thanks for listening because they haven't succeeded in getting the guns out of the hands of the American people, nor have they succeeded in taking our freedoms away. And so I can tell you with a certainty, they must do something terrible in order to stop this backlash and regain the sympathy of the mass herds of sheeple out there. Don't you even believe it. When in hell, are all you people going to wake up?